Hello, my name is Laura Imbra and I am a member of the Maximum Level 2 support team at IBM. In this video I will show you how to change the icons shown in the toolbar and navigation bar. I will be using a Maximum 7.6 version for this demo. When you log into Maximum, so let's log in, there is a navigation bar in the left as shown here. And when you go to any application, for instance, Assets, there are some actions you can select from this navigation bar, like Swap Assets, Modify Assets, Change Status, as shown here. And there are some other actions you can select from the toolbar present in the upper of the page, like a new asset or save asset, as shown here. You can modify where the icons for these actions should be placed. In this demo, I will show you how to move the change status icon from the navigation bar to the toolbar. For this, we have to go to System Configuration, Platform Configuration, System Properties. And there are two properties that handle this. Show on toolbar and hide on navbar. Okay, so I will add the status to the list for the property hide on navbar so that it will not show on the navigation bar. And I will also add status to the list for the property show on toolbar so that it shows on the toolbar. Now I have to save the properties and do a live refresh for the changes to take effect. Now let's go back to assets. Notice that there is no change status icon in the um, navigation bar, but it is present in the toolbar. Note that these changes are global, so they affect all applications. For instance, if I go to work order tracking, I will also see the change status icon in the toolbar and not in the navigation bar. Um, of course you can choose uh, to show an icon in the toolbar and also in the navigation bar as you can see for the new work order icon here or to hide it from both toolbars. And that's it! I hope you found this information useful! Thanks for watching!